Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope your day is going fabulous. Today we are going to create a project for Newton's Look Designs and we're using two of the brand new items from the brand new January release. If you haven't got a chance to check out the brand new release, I encourage you guys to, to go visit the Newton's Look Design shop. Um, they have some amazing new um, items over there, including this die set, which we're separating right now. The die set's called Heart Frames and it can coordinate with this stamp set, which is called Heartfelt Roses. Um, that There is a stitched outline heart that will leave quite a bit of a border, maybe a half inch border, but then there's a scalloped edge heart that will leave a little white border um, with stitch detail, but a scalloped edge. And it turns out so pretty and it's perfect for Valentine's Day cards. Um, there's also a few smaller hearts. The smaller hearts do have stitch detail and then there's one smaller one with a small scalloped border and they layer all together beautifully too. So I am super excited about this. I need a really pretty heart die set. Um, and so I'm super excited Newton's Nook came out with this. So we're gonna go ahead and color in our heart. There's one large image of a heart and it's filled with these beautiful roses. Um, when I first saw this, I thought, okay, this would make a real pretty either stained glass um, look or it'd make a real pretty um, no line watercoloring or actually not even watercolor, no line coloring uh, image. So that's what I'm going to attempt. It's not going to be watercolor. It's actually, I'm going to use my Copic markers to color it in. Now to do the no line, all you have to do is pick out, go through your inks, find a very pale, neutral color like a tan or a gray the one that i'm using is called tin pale um it is a very pale gray in fact it's so pale that i have to stamp it a few times just so i'll be able to see it to color it but i ended up probably four times but you can see it's very vague in the back of your your panel um but it's it's there enough to where you can follow in the lines so I'm going to grab my Copic markers, play a little bit of music. Um, it did take me a little bit of time. In fact, halfway through, I did have to re-stamp it. I left that heart in my Misty, but I did re-stamp it just because um, I found that if you added the shading first with your darkest markers, it was so much easier than going over your entire rows first with your lightest color because that's what we do typically at least that's what I do typically when I color is I go over my image with my lightest color first and then add the shading details with my mid tone and my uh, darkest tones um, I found that if I did go over it first with my lightest color I lost the image <laughs> so I had to restamp it so just a little um, FYI Sometimes it's easier to add your shading details first. It kind of looks a little funny as you add your shading details, but the outcome is so pretty. But I've been jabbering. I'm going to play some music while I finish up coloring, and then when I'm done coloring, I will catch back.
Okay, coloring's all done, and I love the way they turned out. I think they're so dainty and so beautiful. We're gonna take the second largest heart from the heart frames. It's the one with the scalloped edge. We're gonna add that over our image we just colored in, and then I'm gonna take another panel of white cardstock um, and take the largest heart die in the heart frames die set. Um, my panel size is a card front size, so it's four and a quarter by five and a half inches. Now I'm making sure I offset it on that panel about a quarter of an inch. I ran both of them through my die cutting machine. You can see the scalloped edge does leave a little bit of a border. I think it's so pretty. And um, if you die cut out the largest heart and layer them together, you have um, a, basically a frame. And I thought we would create a frame that is clear and see-through. So to do that, I brought in my card base, I lined up my panel that we just cut, and I'm tracing around the heart um, on the front of my card base. I have a little bit of adhesive there, so it helps, um, helps it from shifting. So I have an outline I created with a pencil. I'll open my card base, take that same die that we used for our, our card front panel, line it up, and then I'm going to take an embossing folder. That card front panel here, I thought we would, we're going to leave white. So you know if I like to leave, um, if I have white panel in the background, I like to do some kind of texture to it. So I'm using a polka dotted embossing folder. So now we have a window um, that in our card base. And so what we're going to do is take a piece of acetate. You're going to line it up all the way to the edge, the open edge at least. Um, if you guys don't have acetate, you could also just trim down the packaging that your heart stamp came in and do the exact same thing. The weight of your cardstock after it's all done, it just, um, it would work out perfectly. Just use your, your packaging that it came in. So I added my acetate just using my tape runner and I have polka dots now on my panel. I'm going to use my tape runner very liberally here and then add it behind my my panel here and we're just going to line them both up um, to my window. This creates a real pretty see-through window. Now you're probably thinking, okay, how are you going to write your message? But your heart that you colored in is so big that you're going to have a little bit of an outline um, with the acetate, but I still think it would look really pretty with a message on the inside um, with that script on the end. Um, writing. I like script being in the background anyway. So if you write a message, it's just going to add extra detail to it. <laughs> but there is our card base. You can see, but you want to make sure that acetate again is lined up to the edge. Um, I added my polka dot panel over the top, and now we're going to add foam adhesive behind our um, heartfelt rose image here. We're going to go ahead and pop it up and place it in the center of our acetate. And then you can see it does have that little bit of a window. Something really neat. Now it is overhanging a bit. If you want to trim that off, you could, but I believe it'll still fit in an A2 size envelope, which makes it really nice. Now to keep it clean looking, I'm gonna, it's super easy to do. Just take that scalloped heart, run it through your die cut machine with white cardstock, use your tape runner on the back side, and then just place it over that foam adhesive so it's not showing. And that is an easy fix. But I think it creates a very interesting and different style of card, and I love the way it looks. Just think it turned out so so pretty. Now I brought in my uh, banner die trio set. I'm taking my stitched banner here. We are going to run that through the die cut machine, and then we're going to stamp our sentiment on here. I'm going to use some red ink that I had from my stash, and we're stamping the sentiment that says "So kind of you." So it could be a thank you card, or just because card, or a valentine. That's the best thing about the sentiment. And there's lots of versatile sentiments in the stamp set too. There is let love bloom, heartfelt thanks, with love, beautiful friend, and happy anniversary. So lots of sentiments. Okay, I went ahead and trimmed off the left side of my banner, added it with foam adhesive, um, and then we're gonna add some finishing touches. I'm gonna double up on some white twine. I'm just gonna trim the tails. When I do double up, I don't like the tails to be the same length, so I'm making sure that one's longer than the other. I'm gonna bring in my glue dots, and I'm gonna go ahead and adhere my bow with a glue dot. I'm just gonna take my craft pick, 
um, go over my glue dot and kind of circle around it to create a little glue dot ball. Add it to the very point of my heart. Probably should doesn't want to leave my craft pick. <laughs> we'll add the bow. And I think the bow still adds a little daintiness, but doesn't take away from the beautiful flowers you just colored in. I do want to add a little sparkle with some clear sequins. I'm going to add a few here and there. And that's my card today. Um, if you guys haven't had a chance to check out, again, the brand new release over the Newton Stuck Design Shop, you're going to love it. I'll list the shop down below if you guys want to head on over there and check out um, the new release. But I thank you so much for joining me, guys. Um, I'll be back next week with another card using some of the items in the brand new release, too. So we will see you soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.